Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros for CDA3100. Today in Logisim, we're going to show you splitters. And to do that, I'm going to illustrate that with a register. So I'm going to show you how to split out the data, both input and output. We're going to start off with our um, register. We're going to say it's 8 bits, which is fine. That's what it defaults to. And in this register, we have a um, um, we have a clock that we have to connect to. This is the uh, clock value updates on a trigger. So this is the uh, clear when uh, when one pin uh, value turns. So we're going to use the trigger right here. We're going to add a button. That's our input right here. A button right there. So we're going to say button. And we have to say the button faces north. So move that back over here and we'll say connect it to there. Now we're going to add a splitter on the right hand side. Splitters are kind of neat because what it allows you to do, it allows you to take a group of bits and break them out into individual bits or vice versa and we'll do both on this one. So we're going to connect these two together and you'll notice that right now it's going to say incompatible width. And that's because the splitter says it's only take two bits. Alright, well the bit width then is going to be 8 and we're going to change the uh, the fan out to 8 also so we have all 8 bits. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to add a splitter. We got to make it change so it faces west. Okay. And let's see. Move it up here a little bit. There we go. Oop. Now it's a compatible width too so we're going to change that to 8 and 8. Now what we're going to do now is on this side we're going to put pins, on this side we're going to put LEDs. Let's do the LEDs first. And the LEDs right here and we'll put eight of them right there. Again my affinity to colors I like uh, uh, red when it's off or green when it's on. Okay and then I like red when it's off. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it. I'm going to do a control C or a command C on a Mac and V and cut it and paste it. V, control V or command V. This is going to be really cool, I promise you. Alright, there's six of them. seven and now eight. Alright. I'm going to select those. Oops. Select them and move them up so they're kind of in the center of that mass right there. That's good. Now I'm going to go over to pins because I want to um, have eight of those. I'll put uh, one uh, copy Six, seven, and there's eight. Okay, and again, I'm going to copy, highlight these, and kind of move them into the center right there. Now, all I got to do is connect these up. I got to connect the pins on the right. Now, before I do that, I'm going to select these, and they need to be facing west. All of them. Those faced east. Or uh, that they face. Uh, excuse me. These should be facing. Uh, east. These should be facing west. That's all okay. So let's connect these up. Now let me let me let me fix that. I don't like messy circuits. There we go. There we go. And here's this one. And this is going together really well. Maybe this takes a little bit long. It's it just uh Now the last 
last one over here. All right, now we have to do is connect up the red lights. And you can see where this is going. What I'm going to do when I'm done here is test it. And what you'll see is when I press the button down below, the um, data lights will turn to the corresponding on or off values that we input over on the left hand side. Do I have? Oh, <laughs> missed one there. Oh, okay. saw that mistake. That's okay. All right. Let's see here. All right. There we are. All right. So, assuming everything is okay, let's go to our poke uh, you here and we will go over here and we will turn these on to some values now you know that nothing has changed over on the right hand side and that's because the register doesn't work until it gets a clock value so we push the button here and it says okay that allows the values from the left to go into the right and you'll see zero zero is the bottom two right here then two ones then three zeros and then a one let me go ahead and change these all to one Okay, and then boom change that register so that's how a splitter works very very handy hope you've enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it looking forward to do the next one